You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on AtheistRepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for atheist voices all around the globe. Hi, my name is Wesley Lawrence Curry II, the man with the dove of Jesus. I asked Jesus to give you two teeth healed in your mouth, and he did, and fish and bread, and he did, but everyone said not. Wow. So I asked Jesus to shut your hedges that the heavenly rain, the latter rain, does not go into them to wetten them. That's why you don't feel that Christmassy feeling from Jesus that you felt for over 18 years. And when I decide to open your hedge, you'll feel that Christmas feeling from Jesus Christ again, but not until I say. You see, atheism is Satanism, and Satan told you don't tell the vision. He told it to you directly into your heads on March 31st in the year 2020. Just like he said, I will turn and toss you violently like a ball on October 10 in 2005. Now I'm talking from Jesus who said, it is time. And then your atheist God said, sad and delicious. His name is Baal and Satan and Allah. So really, atheism isn't that you don't believe in a God. It's that you worship the devil. And now you get to feel what it's like to not have the feeling of the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, because I said so. My name's Wesley. I'll come and visit you in hell when the Omnibar is brought to you by some Chinese military men who are not going to be friendly and kind to you. But they are going to offer you 32,000 $523 $523 in cryptocurrency to be branded like an animal on your wrist with a barcode or on your forehead. Physically branded, a high intensity laser beam will burn the barcode into your wrist and you'll smell burning flesh when it happens should you foolishly decide to do so. I hope you don't. I hope instead you'll tell the vision and heal like the two healed teeth in your mouth and have food, free DoorDash from Jesus Christ, like the fish and bread. But it's your choice. The food that you'll be buying with the Omnibar won't be very good. It will be very salty, and it will be human flesh, because nothing's going to be growing in those days. Those things are soon to come. And then your party of atheism, Satanism really, will be over. My name is Ahmed Hassan. I'm a 23 years old Egyptian. I just escaped the Middle East because I'm an ex Muslim. I'm now an atheist and I'm always facing a lot of threats and prosecution. My family disowned me because of this decision. I'm trying to build a new life away from the religious superstitions and I hope that everyone can practice their beliefs without any restrictions. Hello, my name is Judy. I live in Fort Worth. I am not an atheist and I can't understand why uh, in this mysterious world we don't know, but that's not the point. The reason I say I stand in solidarity with you in freedom, freedom of thought, and that's so important. And I stand with you with freedom to pursue your own life. And thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. I wish all the best to the suppressed people of Iran. May the regime topple so people can live as humans and not what Islam wants us to be. I mean, this is, um, I am grateful for your channel 
and the news that you provide. Um, I have not been keeping up with the stuff going in Iran, but thanks for the update. Um, I just want to say something, but I need to ask you that you not use my name or my ex's name on air if you use this. Um, he is not out. Um, he's a male, I'm a male, and um, his family still does not know. But I know that they will search out where families live to see if there's anything out there on them to build. I don't know. It's, it's just to find crap on people. I really don't understand it. But um, I just want to say um, a couple years ago, I had bought him a DNA testing. And um, it was around Christmas time because it's always cheaper here in the U.S. And he was very disappointed when he got his back because he found out that he had a lot of Iranian in him. He knew he was Arab and Kurdish, but he was not aware of um, being so much Iranian. Um, and I hate to say this, but he hates Iranian. It's more he hates the Iranian government. Um, he doesn't like Shias. He's Sunni. So I'm kind of a little bit aware of that, but I did not know about either Sunni or Shia having, um, like, a messiah coming back. He's never mentioned that. You know, all he told me was they don't believe in listening to you and your channel. It's awesome. Um, keep up the good work and have a great day. Bye. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.